a balloon contortionist. <laughs> Balloons, not the inflatable, round, squishy pouches I was hoping to see tonight. Ow! I hate Ralph Macchio. I hate him, hate him, hate him. He is not the Karate Kid. The Karate Kid was William Zabka, star pupil of the Cobra Kai Dojo, whom this monster defeated with a cheap, illegal head kick in the most tragically haunting film ending of all time. Why don't you go have a party with Luke Skywalker and Harry Potter and War Horse and all the other movie bad guys and stop ruining mine? Listen. Barney? Quinn? Yeah. And you got a little something. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, guys, wait, hold on, hold on. Drinking. A shot. Shooting. A gun. Shotgun. Shotgun? He ain't the karate kid. I couldn't agree with you more. You know, they almost didn't get me. That after 18 voicemails, I returned Robin's call. And she told me. Hey, you're one of the few people in the world who truly gets the Karate Kid movie. So when she asked if I'd help, well, my answer just had to be. Hey! William Zabka! Hey, Ted. Thanks for the sweet lid, bro. <laughs> Billy Zabka's your new best man? He's the best around. And that's how I became Barney's best man again. Everything was back to going off without a hitch. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Mosby. Okay, there was one slight hitch. But Stuart said he got it for us. It's Stuart and Karate are checked in. I saw them in the lobby. Let's go get to the bottom of this. I will solve this case. Now, there were three people nearby when Barney gave me that headshot. Karate Kid bad boy Billy Zapka. A lot of pretty paintings in this hotel. I like how they've been framed. I've noticed the vintage antique gilded Victorian frames, too. I'm not blind. But what are you getting at? You're insane. Am I? Yeah. Am I? Yeah. Where were you today? At 3.15 p.m. Right here, getting a massage. Rocked a 60-minute deep tish. Now, you'll excuse me, detective. I think I'll go have some pineapple. How do you know about that? Everybody knows about that. I'm telling all y'all, it's Zapkatosh. <laughs> I was gonna give this to Barney and say I'd driven an hour away to get a replacement from an autograph dealer. First, I needed an alibi. So I got Barney's dad a massage, but signed in my name. In the 80s, I was a bad guy in every movie. Do you know what my life has been like? Every premiere, when I came on screen, I wasn't a bad guy in real life, just a kick-ass actor. No one got that. It happened everywhere I went. Somehow, people always had popcorn. Will you be my best man? Sure. Thanks. Hello? Mom? No, no, listen, listen. I just became somebody's best man. <gasps> you could come to Thanksgiving this year. To Barney Stinson, I was the best man. I thought if Ted screwed up again, I'd have another shot. But I guess this time I really was the bad guy. Billy saved the day by getting a new one from an autograph dealer nearby. A an hour away. An hour away, just be cool. <laughs> Wait, what time was this? A little after 3 a.m., Billy Zapka, why? Well, last night I was out doing some late night dirt biking in the sand. Naturally, continue. And I ended up at the easy pick a few miles up the road. And well... That's odd. Is that the captain moored his dinghy in Lily's lagoon? Most definitely. That's crazy. You've never moored a dinghy in a lagoon. I don't know, Tad. In certain tidal conditions, if you were had a protected in. Okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. To what is the one thing Lily always does? Cry? Masturbate? Karate? Go sailing? You have no car. What do you do? Go. Dirt bike it. I can walk that far. Masturbate. Take a boat. A pregnancy test. You could smoke those? Did you say Gary Blauman? I hate to disagree with Barney, but I love that guy. You're the poet, William Zabka. Nobody ever recognizes me for my poetry. He has all six of my collections. When Terry Gross interviewed me on Fresh Air, he listened live. Gary Blauman rules. Billy won't kick you in the face. It's not even my move. If I was going to do anything, I'd sweep the leg and put you in a body bag. Everyone knows that. Wait, is that from one of your poems? Thank you for that. William Zabka became the youngest poet ever to win the American Humanities Medal for Literature. He's currently working on a collection of travel essays. So, right now, 
You probably fill with all the doubts in the world. All you need to blast your way in and get back what they took from you. We... Oui.